The southwestern part of Nigeria is a highly significant region playing host to the largest city in Africa by population and economy. This single region also hosts the vast majority of industries in Nigeria and is home to the Yoruba people. In no particular order, we unveil the top seven projects in the southwestern part of Nigeria. Number seven, Senator Rashidi Ladoja Circular Road, Ibadan. The 110-kilometer Senator Rashidi Ladoja Circular Road is a multi-billion Naira priority project by the governor of Oyo State. It consists of four sections, the southeast wing which is 32.2 kilometers, northeast wing which is 20.8 kilometers, northwest wing which is 33 kilometers, and southwest wing which is 24 kilometers. The southwest wing provides a bypass for travelers, goods and freight commuting through Ibadan along the Lagos Ibadan Expressway. The 32.2 km southeast wing of the Senator Rashidi Ladoja Circular Road Construction Project is being executed by Craneberg Construction Limited and comprises the construction of six bridges including two interchanges. The road designed to encircle the entirety of Ibadan will strategically link the Ibadan Fair Expressway, the Monia train station, Ibadan Inland Dry Port, the proposed Oyo Free Trade Zone and different parts of the Abadan Metropolis. The circular road will also ease the flow of traffic in strategic locations in the metropolis as well as drive more development in Oyo State. Number 6. Ojota OPB Link Bridge Lagos, Nigeria's bustling trade hub, faces increasing congestion on its roads, particularly in the Akeji Ojota area. To address this, Julius Berger is constructing a 4.52-kilometer link bridge and approach roads between OPB and Mind, as requested by the Lagos state government. Despite challenging soil conditions, the project involves extensive sand filling to create a temporary working platform. Upon completion in June 2024, the new road will alleviate traffic by diverting vehicles from OPB U-turn to Ikordu Road via an intersection in Kosov. Julius Berger's scope includes bridges, U-turns, underpasses, and the reconstruction of OPB Road and Maryland U-turn. This initiative promises significant relief for commuters in OPB, Maryland, and Ojota. Number 5. Fourth Mainland Bridge The Fourth Mainland Bridge, a 38-kilometer project underway in Lagos, Nigeria, will link Lagos Island to Ikoridu, traversing the Lagos Lagoon and various areas like Langbesa, Ediosa, and Lecky. With eight lanes and allowance for a bus rapid transit lane, it's poised to be Africa's second longest bridge upon completion. Designed to alleviate traffic congestion, especially on the third mainland bridge, the fourth mainland bridge aims to catalyze economic growth in Lagos's eastern corridor and generate employment opportunities. Funded through a public-private partnership between the Lagos state government and private investors, the project is slated for completion within four years. Number 4. Teslim Balagan Stadium Rehabilitation Construction of Teslim Balagan Stadium began in the mid-1980s but was abandoned, only to be resumed in the 2000s using the original design. Completed in 2007, the stadium's facilities and design are now outdated. Currently, a comprehensive upgrade is underway to modernize it. This project includes cladding, roof covering, track replacement, and upgrades to the VIP and player lounges, as well as the pitch. Aiming to transform Teslin Balagan Stadium into a world-class sporting arena. Under the leadership of Governor Babajid Sanwolu, new hospitality suites and a facade are being added, marking a significant step towards revitalizing this iconic sports facility. Number 3. Ogun Agro Cargo Airport The Ogun Agro Cargo Airport, currently under construction in Ogun State, is strategically positioned at the state center, with convenient access to two major highways. The Lagos Abadan Expressway to the west and the Sagamu, Benin Expressway to the south. Designed primarily for cargo services, the airport has garnered interest from agencies like the Nigerian Customs Service for establishment within its premises. Additionally, it will house an international testing center to certify all agro-produce bound for international markets, ensuring compliance with global standards. This airport serves as a vital cargo alternative to alleviate congestion at the busy Lagos airport, providing enhanced logistical capabilities for the region. Number 2. Lekki Ape International Airport In response to the need for expanded air travel infrastructure, 
Lagos is planning the construction of the Lekiape International Airport. This modern facility aims to relieve congestion at Murtala Muhammad International Airport while meeting the increasing demand for both domestic and international flights. By improving connectivity, the airport will elevate Lagos as a key aviation hub in West Africa. Situated within the Leki Free Zone in Abeju Leki, the airport will feature a 4.5 km runway capable of accommodating large commercial aircraft like the Airbus A380 and Boeing 747. With a passenger terminal designed to handle up to 20 million travelers annually and a cargo terminal equipped to manage 2 million tons of cargo per year, the airport will meet diverse needs. Advanced technology, including a cutting-edge air traffic control system and modern navigation equipment, will ensure efficiency and safety. Number 1. Eco-Atlantic City Phase 4 Dubbed the Dubai of Africa, Eco-Atlantic is revolutionizing Lagos's landscape. Situated on Victoria Island and spanning 10 square kilometers in the Atlantic Ocean, this visionary city development addresses Lagos's pressing issues, including overpopulation, coastal erosion, and climate-related flooding. Designed as a state-of-the-art smart city, Eco-Atlantic boasts luxury residences, commercial zones, and top-notch infrastructure. It aims to emerge as a dynamic economic and recreational center, drawing interest from both domestic and global investors. Thank you for watching. Click on the pinned comment to watch the biggest projects in the eastern and northern part of Nigeria.